Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I do appreciate you guys' support. While you're here, please make sure to like this video, hit that notification bell, and definitely subscribe. The views that I express are my own personal opinions and reactions for commentary, and everything is alleged. So guys, let's chit chat about this Ime Udoka situation. So Ime Udoka, Nia Long's long-term fiance and baby daddy, was suspended from being the Boston Celtics head coach for a year. According to reports, he was having an inappropriate relationship with a subordinate. And according to the NBA, the relationship is considered a violation of the organization's guidelines and the proposed penalty for Udoka is largely unprecedented for a sitting head coach in the NBA. And Udoka did release a statement. He said, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization and my family for letting them down. I am sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation and I accept the team's decision. Out of respect for everyone involved, I will have no further comments. Now, in my opinion, this is a way more than just cheating. Yes, he crossed the line by dealing with someone that works with him, but this is a little more serious. According to USA Today, it was sexual harassment and the female employees pluralized experienced trauma. And there are rumors swirling around that it's much more harsh if that is a thing than sexual harassment. So I'll just say it in a, a light term. People are saying that allegedly this was something that was forced and that would make sense to me with matt barnes who is a former nba player matt barnes originally came out and he tried to defend Udoke by saying that hey this is what happens this is what comes with it players cheat coaches cheat it is what it is but matt then released a video on Instagram and he stated that he really wanted to backtrack and that the allegations were 100 times uglier than he initially thought. 100 times uglier. Let's take a look at what Matt Barnes had to say. After he deleted his original statement trying to defend Udoka. So last night I spoke on this uh, Ime Udoka situation um, without having all the facts. I clearly have to say last night uh, without knowing all the facts I spoke on Ime Udoka's defense and after finding out the facts after I spoke I erased what I posted because this situation in Boston is deep, it's messy, it's a hundred times uglier than any of us thought and that's why I erased what I said. Uh, some things happened that I can't condone, I can't back, but that was the reason why I erased my post last night because after I posted it, I got a call from someone who had all the details and the shit is deep. So, man, praying for everybody involved. Um, you know, hope everyone gets through this. So, in my opinion, these rumors that's swirling around may just be true. And this was not just one woman, but it is alleged that one of the women was the VP of the team's wife. And there could have possibly been a pregnancy that was involved. According to the reports, and I'll say the alleged reports, is more than one woman that was violated and they use the strong word traumatized. 
So for Matt to backtrack that strongly, he has some inside information of what really went on. And I doubt, I highly doubt that he'll ever be back as a NBA coach. This suspension is probably to honor a portion of his contract and they'll leave it in that stage. But I doubt in the 2023 season, if we'll see him as the coach. But let's touch on Nia Long. Now, don't get me wrong. I totally, totally feel Nia's pain. But let's not act surprised. Just like Matt said, this is a known thing when it comes to athletes. They're on the road a lot. They got women at their every beck and call. So I feel my personal opinion that this is not new to Nia. I really do believe that she knew about this current situation because they said that they've been in talks as far as what this guy did since July. It's September. So I don't think she's been in the dark like everyone is saying, or I don't think that she was blindsided. Now she did release a statement as well, and I'll go ahead and read that. So Nia says, the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult times means so much to me. She said, I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events. Above all, I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. Now, Nia Long is 51, Yudoka is 45. They've been engaged since 2015. Their son is 10 years old. And if anyone knows Yudoka, it's Nia Long. That's a long time to be a girlfriend, then a fiance. And this man just asked her to, oh, well, allegedly, he just asked her to move to Boston a couple months ago. Remember, they stated they've been uh, investigating these allegations for a couple months. So I think a move was basically for his image to appear to be this family man. I have my fiance here. I have my child here. But I don't think that this is a surprise to Nia at all. Now, is it hurtful? Yes, absolutely. But something has prevented them from being married all these years. So I just don't think that him being with other women um, is a shock. You know, it's definitely a sad situation. This man has blown his career for what? I just don't understand, man. I really, really don't. You've blown your career because you couldn't control yourself. And men in power such as that, they feel like, hey, I can approach anyone. She wants me. And I know nothing about the alleged women. And I'm going to say women because they're saying that it's more than one. I know nothing about them. Um, I don't know the seriousness of what he's done. And my heart goes out to them as well. But let's not act like just because Nia Long is pretty and that she's this big time actress, that that excludes her from being cheated on. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. It doesn't matter how a woman look, a man essentially is looking for what's in between a woman's legs. And it's just sad. So this is no shock to me. Prayers go out to Nia Long and the women involved. But you guys let me know what you think about this. Do you think that Nia knew? Or do you think that she was blindsided and that this all just came out and this man was conversing with her for all these years and sleeping with her and she was flying back and forth and all of that? Do you think that she was blindsided? And what do you think the ultimate fate will be for Udoka's affair? Do you think that he'll return as a, a NBA basketball coach? Or do you think he's done and he should have a, enough money to, to be okay? But this is definitely a smear on something that could have went down, in my opinion, as one of the greatest stories. Again, he's from Nigeria and he's made it in America and he's lost it all for some cooch. So drop down. Let's chit chat about it. 
Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.